Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the world of frugal living. But don't worry, we're not talking about extreme measures. Instead, we'll focus on easy and practical frugal habits that anyone can start implementing right away to save money. Whether you're looking to boost your savings, reduce debt, or simply live more economically, these tips are for you. Let's get into it. Segment 1. Track your spending. The journey towards saving money effectively starts with a clear understanding of your spending habits. Tracking your expenses for at least a month gives you a transparent view of where your money goes. This can be eye-opening, as many of us don't realize how much we spend on small, everyday items like coffee, snacks, or online purchases. There are several methods to track spending, using a simple notebook, leveraging budgeting apps, or even a spreadsheet. The key is consistency. Be sure to record every purchase, no matter how small. At the end of the month, categorize your expenses to identify areas where you might be overspending, such as dining out, entertainment, or shopping. This habit not only helps in cutting back on unnecessary expenses but also in creating a more mindful approach to spending. Segment 2. Make a budget. Armed with the knowledge of your spending patterns, the next step is to create a budget. A budget acts as a roadmap for how you want to spend your money moving forward. Start by listing your income sources, then deduct your fixed expenses like rent, mortgage, utilities, and insurance. The remaining amount can be allocated to variable expenses such as groceries, entertainment, and savings. Remember, the goal of the budget isn't to restrict your spending but to ensure you're spending money on what truly matters to you. It's about striking a balance, ensuring that your needs are met, while also setting aside money for your future goals, whether that's a holiday, an emergency fund, or retirement savings. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your budget is crucial, as your financial situation and goals may change over time. Segment 3. Cut down on unnecessary subscriptions. In the digital age, subscriptions can sneak up on us and silently drain our wallets. This could be anything from streaming services, gym memberships, magazine subscriptions, to app-based services. Begin by evaluating each subscription and assessing its value in your life. Ask yourself questions like, how often do I use this service? Am I getting my money's worth? And, could I find a free or cheaper alternative? You might be surprised to find that you're paying for services you hardly use. For instance, if you have multiple streaming subscriptions, consider which ones you actually watch regularly and cancel the rest. Similarly, if you're paying for a gym membership but not going regularly, it might be time to explore cheaper or free ways to exercise. By pruning these unnecessary subscriptions, you can redirect that money towards savings or spending on things that bring you more value and joy. Segment 4. Cook at home more often. Cooking at home is one of the most effective ways to save money. The cost of eating out, even at modestly priced restaurants, can quickly add up, especially if it becomes a regular habit. By preparing meals at home, you can control the cost per meal significantly. For instance, the average cost of a home-cooked meal is often less than half of the price of a comparable restaurant dish. Moreover, cooking at home allows you to buy ingredients in bulk, which is more economical, and to use leftovers efficiently, minimizing waste. Besides financial benefits, home-cooked meals are usually healthier, as you can control the quality and quantity of ingredients, like salt and oil. Additionally, cooking can become a fulfilling hobby, encouraging creativity and improving culinary skills over time. Segment 5. Be energy conscious. Being mindful of energy usage is not only eco-friendly but also a practical way to reduce monthly utility bills. Simple changes in daily habits can lead to noticeable savings. For example, turning off lights and unplugging electronic devices when they're not in use can reduce electricity consumption. Similarly, using energy-efficient appliances, like LED light bulbs or Energy Star-rated washers and refrigerators, can significantly lower energy costs. Other energy-saving measures include washing clothes in cold water, using a programmable thermostat to optimize heating and cooling, and ensuring your home is well insulated to reduce heating costs in winter and cooling costs in summer. Over time, these small changes compound into substantial savings on utility bills. Segment 6. Use public transportation or carpool. Reducing reliance on personal vehicles can lead to significant savings in transportation costs. Using public transportation, when feasible, is often much cheaper than the costs associated with driving, such as fuel, maintenance, insurance, and parking fees. In many urban areas, monthly public transit passes offer unlimited travel at a fraction of the cost of driving. Carpooling is another excellent way to save. By sharing rides with others, you can split the cost of gas and reduce wear and tear on your vehicle. Besides financial benefits, these options also contribute to reducing traffic congestion and environmental pollution. 
For shorter distances, consider walking or biking, which provides the added advantage of physical exercise. Adopting these transportation habits can lead to a healthier lifestyle and significant cost savings. Segment 7. Shop Secondhand. Shopping secondhand is a highly effective way to embrace frugality, offering both economic and environmental benefits. This practice goes beyond just clothes, it extends to furniture, electronics, books, and even kitchenware. Thrift stores, online marketplaces, garage sales, and estate sales can be excellent sources for high-quality items at a fraction of the retail cost. For example, clothing is one of the best categories for second-hand shopping. The fast fashion industry contributes to significant environmental issues, and by purchasing clothes second-hand, not only are you saving money, but also participating in a more sustainable consumption model. Often, you can find barely used or even brand new items with tags still on, allowing you to dress stylishly without the high price tag. When it comes to furnishing a home, second-hand stores and online marketplaces can be treasure troves. Furniture, in particular, is often sold at a substantial discount compared to new items. Many times, you can find pieces that are better made than newer, cheaper alternatives. With a little bit of effort, such as a fresh coat of paint or new upholstery, these items can be revitalized, adding unique and personal charm to your home. Electronics and appliances are other categories where significant savings can be found. Many people sell or donate items that are in good working condition because they've upgraded to the latest model. By purchasing these, you can get the functionality you need at a much lower cost. In addition to saving money, second-hand shopping can be an enjoyable and rewarding experience. It feels like a treasure hunt, and there's a sense of accomplishment in finding a great deal. Moreover, by buying second-hand, you're contributing to a reduction in global waste, making it a responsible choice for the environment. In conclusion, incorporating second-hand shopping into your lifestyle is not only frugal but also eco-friendly. It allows you to enjoy the things you need or want without the excessive cost, and it promotes a more sustainable way of living. Adopting frugal habits doesn't mean you have to change your entire lifestyle overnight. Start small and focus on making changes that feel manageable and sustainable for you. Over time, these small changes can lead to significant savings. Remember, being frugal isn't about being cheap, it's about being smart and intentional with your money. Thanks for watching. If you found these tips helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more advice on saving money and living frugally. Happy saving, and see you in our next video.